Hello, in this video, I am going to discuss about conducting multicollinearity tests. Multicollinearity explains the intercorrelation between the variables. To discuss this, let me take one example. See this example where I have three independent variables and one dependent variable. Perceived quality, customer satisfaction, customer expectation or impacting customer loyalty. So when I want to do this structure equation model, I want to check first, is there any collinearity problem between the independent variables, these three independent variables. For this, let me see what is the correlation between these variables. So I have taken a CFA model. In this CFA model, I have drawn the correlation between the independent variables. Let me run this, check the values. Okay, perceived quality is having 0.52 correlation with customer satisfaction and perceived quality is having 0.37 with customer expectation and customer expectation is having 0.48 with customer satisfaction and if I see the estimations is it significant not you can see here these all are significant so when there is a correlation between the variables, can I go forward? Means, can I say there is a high correlation between the variables? Is there any multicollinearity problem between the independent variables? To discuss this, we need to do this with SPSS. As the provision is not there in SPSS AMOS, I'm going to SPSS and do this collinearity test in SPSS. I have the file, if you see here, I have three independent variables, perceived quality, customer expectation, customer satisfaction, and a dependent variable, customer loyalty. To do this a diagnosis of uh, collinearity, I'll go for analyze. This is where I'm going to start my analysis. Regression and regression, we have linear regression. In linear regression, let me take customer loyalty as dependent variable, and uh, this as independent variables, perceived quality, customer expectation, customer satisfaction. Now, the small setting we need to do for collinearity is click statistics. In statistics, click this button, check button called collinearity diagnostics. Click this button, click continue, click OK. That's it. We're not going to discuss about regression analysis here, but we are going to directly check the collinearity. In this, see these coefficients. Here, collinearity statistics. We have three independent variables. For these three independent variables, we have tolerances. See these tolerances for perceived quality is 0 0.714, for customer expectation is 0 0.748, and for customer satisfaction is 0 0.636. If the tolerance is more than 0 0.2, then there is no multicollinearity problem. The tolerance value must be greater than 0 0.2. In this case, all the values are greater than 0 0.2. So the first condition, yes, we can say there is no multicollinearity problem between the independent variables. Next, we are going to discuss about VIF. See these values. This VIF must be less than 5 all the values are less than 5. So there is no multicollinearity problem between the independent variables. And we have third condition where we are going to check in collinearity diagnostics. Here we have agent values provide an indication of how many distinct dimensions are there among the independent variables. When several agent values are close to zero, the variables are highly intercorrelated and small change in the value may lead to large change in the estimation of the coefficients. Means the agent values must not be close to zero. In this case, it is true. They're not close to zero. They're not like 0 0.001 or 0 0.00. That values are not there. So we can easily say that the multicollinearity problem is not there between the independent variables. The fourth one is condition index. This condition index values must be less than 15. 
if this values are less than 15 it means there is no multi collinearity problem between the independent variables by checking these four conditions we can come to conclusion there is no multi collinearity between the independent variables we are going to check tolerance first this must be greater than 0 0.2 next vif this must be less than 5 third this agent values must not be close to 0 and the fourth one conditioned x they must be less than 15 if they are more than 15 15 and more than 15 it means there is a collinearity problem between the independent variables so when you are doing structure equation model check the reliability test that is composite reliability you check next you check about the validity convergent and discriminant validity and the third thing is you also check this multi collinearity problem there must not be a multi collinearity problem then your data is correct and the structure equation model which you are doing is also valid i wish this video is useful for you in data analysis thank you for watching the video